Hi, I'm Stu from HiveMind Automation and welcome back to The Hive. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at this Wiz Wizmo remote control. As always, we'll take a look around the outside of the box. We'll hook it up to the native Wiz app and we're going to see if we can get it connected to Home Assistant. So while I roll the intro, why don't you take a moment to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you get notified when I release new videos each week. While you're at it, if you like what I do here and you want to support the channel, there's some affiliate links in the video description to a bunch of home automation gadgets that I have reviewed in the past and other ways that you can support the channel as well like supporting the channel directly through my buy me a coffee link. All of those affiliate links and the buy me a coffee link are also available on my website, www.hivemindautomation.com.au. With all of that out of the way, let's get started. So we've been doing somewhat of a whiz series of late and I was in Bunnings the other day and I picked up a bunch of whiz gadgets, including this whiz moat for $23.71. Now that was with my uh, power pass trade discount. And I think it looks fairly interesting. I have seen them before, uh, but I'll also be very interested to see if I can get it to work with home assistant, but even if I can't, at the very least, it'll be interesting to see how it works with just the native app. In some online reading that I did in preparation for this video, there's some suggestion that all of the Wiz ecosystem devices run on an ESP8266 board, similar to the earlier two-year devices. So it might even be interesting at some point to open one up and see if I can install Tasmoda or ESP Home onto it, but I digress. As always, let's start by looking around the outside of the box. Uh, now on the front here, we've got Wiz, Wizmote, uh, a picture of the device, uh, works with all Wiz connected products uh, and a shot of the top half of the app. On the right hand edge, we've got a 15 meter range, which is a little bit interesting. Uh, that kind of suggests that there might be some Bluetooth at play here. We've got whole room control and full control even without Wi-Fi, which supports that Bluetooth hypothesis I have there. And it says, uh, control your whiz lights faster. And a little bit of a serving suggestion there. Over onto the back and we've got whiz hash connected light. Uh, and we've got quick and easy access to your four favorite modes and the four different serving suggestions there. So uh, an incandescent and a daylight uh, and what I'm assuming is an autumn-y kind of color uh, and then an ocean breeze kind of color. Uh, we'll take a look at that in the app a little later. Uh, download on the app store and get it on Google Play and whizconnected.com is the website. Uh, and on the left hand side, we've got remote control in a bunch of different languages. We've got uh, Wiz Wizmo Wi Fi compatibility. It's Wi Fi certified 2.4 gigahertz and external accessories not included. Some patent and copyright details there. Uh, power source it takes uh, two LR03 AAA batteries, and those are included. And it says to use alkaline batteries only. Uh, and there's some manufacturer details. It's uh, Signify. Interestingly, I think I mentioned in the video about the Wiz Colors that Signify is the parent company of Philips. Uh, and so uh, we would expect a fairly decent uh, build quality out of this, being that they are the parent company of Philips. Uh, so address details. And in the bottom right, we've got the uh, dimensions of the unit. So 38. Uh, millimeters by 135 millimeters. Uh, on the bottom, uh, just a bunch of compliance logos there uh, and another Signify logo uh, there. Uh, and lastly, on the top, we've just got connected light and Wizmote. So with the outside of the box covered off, let's take a look inside the box. So uh, I'll just reach in there and pull the top flap up and open up the box and 
looks like it's shoved in at an angle there. Uh, pull that off and then we'll pull that out there. Uh, so we've got a quick setup guide, some uh, different explanations of the symbols in different languages and uh, back inside the box if I pull this flap up and then we've got the remote itself and I think underneath the bottom here yep there we go we've got the two AAA batteries in there so I'll get all of this out of the way so uh, looking at the unit itself um, the build quality feels okay um, it's not fantastic um, it's obviously plastic it's basically a remote control um, I'll go over onto this camera here so we've got on and off buttons uh, there's I assume a night light button one two three and four for our four favorite scenes uh, and brightness up and down uh, I will uh, open up the batteries here and I'll put them into the remote uh, and we will see about getting it paired into the Wiz app. Uh, inside the quick setup guide uh, it's just got um, as we already said turn lights off on etc. Uh, I will take a quick look through this quick setup guide in the English section here. It says that there's just three steps here so it says a select room in the app add wizmote to room and enjoy using the wizmote so we'll see if it is that simple i'll just grab these batteries and put them into the remote uh, and i just saw a led flash there for a moment so i'm suspecting that that is just indicating that it is on and it may be ready to pair so over on my iphone now i'll open up the wiz v2 app and we've still got our device info from the candle there uh, i'm in my test room this is the wiz candle lamp here uh, but i'll go to home i'll go to plus in the top right hand corner and it's looking for devices via bluetooth uh, but i'm just going to tap wiz mode in the bottom right corner there uh, and I'm going to select the test room there. Uh, and now it's asking to make sure that the batteries are fitted and to tap on start. So I'll tap start. Now it says press the on button of the remote three times. So one, two, three. And now it says pairing. So it's found the accessory, we'll tap done. That appears to be it. So if I open up test room, uh, let's see what happens i'll tap the off button it turned the candle off i'll tap it on turned it on uh, the night light so that brings it down to that kind of night light setting uh, we'll go one which is kind of a incandescent setting we'll go two which is a cool white setting three which is that kind of autumn color setting and four kind of a color cycle setting there like party mode maybe uh, let's actually drill in here and uh, see what mode it is yeah so it's in party if i go to three it moves on to is it in static yeah so it's in relax mode which is a static uh, two is focus and one is warm white uh, and the night light there uh, i can just go and hit the on button and it goes back to normal uh, and we've got the dimming function here dimming up and down works pretty well there so that pairing was really simple so uh, i'm a little bit dubious as to whether or not we're going to be able to connect this to home assistant i'm going to run land scan and see if i can find anything in here uh, so uh, 1.12 was the uh, whiz candle globe i'm going to filter here by whiz and we've only got the whiz candle globe which uh, makes me suspect that we're not going to be able to find this uh, in Home Assistant, but let's try that out anyway. I'm going to, in my Home Assistant here, go to Settings, 
go to devices and services and I'm going to scroll down to, uh, we've got the whiz here, we've got one device, three entities, uh, which that is RGBW tunable. Uh, I'm going to click add integration and type whiz uh, and we'll just hit submit on here to try and discover devices and it may not find anything. Okay, so it's come back with no devices found on the network, which we kind of expected a little bit there. Being that we weren't able to see that in the land scan, I'm really not super surprised about uh, not being able to find it there. So unfortunately, it seems that it does not work with Home Assistant. So that's the Wizmote remote control. It's not particularly expensive and it's a nice physical control for lights if you're in the Wiz ecosystem already. However, not working with Home Assistant pretty much uh, rules it out as being actually useful in my use case here. Does uh, state that it needs 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi uh, for control, uh, which I suspect is only for the pairing, uh, but again, it's rather unclear about how that works. So it does say here in the quick start guide that the Wizmote is attached to a single room and only controls the lights in that room. You can move the Wizmote in the app if you want to control another room instead, and you can change the four favorites of the room in the app. Look at accessories. So we've got the Wi-Fi remote here. Wizmote behavior. Wizmote actions are based on the device's room. Uh, and the targets are the room. So there's really not a lot we can change there. It does say Wi-Fi remote, um, which makes me suspect that it is somehow still connecting over Wi-Fi, even though we weren't able to see it in LandScan. So, so 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi could still be a bit of a problem if you are experiencing similar trouble with your 2.4 gigahertz that I am. Now in future, I'm looking to plan out a full network security series, including doing packet captures and those kinds of things on uh, different smart home accessories, whether they are Wi-Fi connected uh, or even on the Zigbee bridges. Uh, but let me know in the comments section if you wanna see uh, that uh, network security series. If there's enough interest, I'll get to work on planning. Let me know your thoughts on the Wiz remote in the comments section down below as well. That is all we have for this video and I do hope that it helped you in your home automation journey. Be sure to drop a comment down below with a home automation idea you'd like to see me cover in a future video. And don't forget to follow Hivemind Automation on Twitter, Instagram and Facebook. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button down below to give it a like. And if you're not already subscribed, please consider subscribing now. While you're at it, if you hit the bell icon, you'll also get notified when I release new videos and that's normally each week. Lastly, if you like what I'm doing here and you want to help to support the channel, there is a buy me a coffee link in the video description down below. Any contributions you make through Buy Me A Coffee get put towards making more and hopefully better content for you to enjoy. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Stu from Hive Mind Automation and I'm looking forward to seeing you next time. Bye for now.